Okay, folks, uh, one more award left. Um, first, we have an hour-long musical tribute to the <laughs> subgenre of domestic suspense called The Girl Who Became a Woman with a House with a Window by a Lake. And then we'll get to the last award. No, if, last award. Um, what we have is the chair of the best novel panel. Kate Flora is the Edgar, Agatha, Anthony, and Derringer nominated author of 24 books and many short stories. She won the Public Safety Writers Association Award for nonfiction and twice won the Maine Literary Award. She is a truly accomplished writer and is here to present our final award of the night, the 2022 Edgar Award for Best Novel. <clears throat> They told me I couldn't say anything because it's so late and we're all so very tired. But I do have to tell you something critically important. This is an excellent murder weapon. <laughs> so I think that we all know that the Edgars are a peer-reviewed award. Uh, it is an incredible honor to serve on the committee it's an incredible honor to be part of a team of seven who chose our five finalists for tonight. Uh, they are a very diverse collection of novels, but we were all unanimous in that these were the books. You should all rush right out and read them if you haven't already. And it almost seems unfair that we should have to choose a winner since they're all winners. The nominees for best novel are The Venice Sketchbook, by Reese Bowen. <laughs> Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. <laughs> Five Decembers by James Kestrel. How Lucky by Will Leach. And No One Will Miss Her by Kat Rosenfield. Nope, can't get the envelope open, sorry. <laughs> Gonna have to send out for help. And the winner is Five Decembers by James Castro. Of, of course, James Kestrel is in Hawaii preparing to argue a case in federal court, but I believe that his editor is here with us tonight. Hello. This, thank you very much. Don't go without I this. I won't go without this. Okay. This is quite a shock, really. Um, I'm not James Kestrel, I'm his editor. But James did, uh, I call him James, even though it's widely known he's a pseudonym. Uh, not my pseudonym, please. Uh, he sent me some notes, and I'll, I'll read them to you. I didn't edit them, so forgive the part that's embarrassing to me personally. I'm very sorry that I am not here in person to meet and celebrate with everyone here tonight. I wanted to come and raise a toast to everyone, the writers and agents and editors and fans who devote a good part of their lives to telling and sharing stories that people love. I wanted to thank my own agent, Alice Martell, who didn't drop me as a client, even when 26 publishing houses rejected this book. I point out that that's two more than rejected Harry Potter. <laughs> I wanted to thank my editor, Charles Ardai, who bought the book knowing that nobody else on earth wanted it. <laughs> and who is the finest editor I've ever worked with. Of course, I was grateful to be nominated and more grateful still to receive this award, but I know as well as anyone that this is a subjective process. I've been nominated for a few things and have never won, and more often than not, I'm not nominated. I have been not nominated for more awards than you can count, <laughs> which is just fine because there is no way to judge a book. So ultimately, what I am most thankful for is that so many people found their way to a story I told 
and picked it up and read it and found something inside its pages that stayed with them. I'm sure everyone in this room tonight has written or edited or helped bring into being or championed a story like that. And because that is what we are truly here to celebrate, the unforgettable stories that all of you tell, please know this. At this exact moment, it is late afternoon in Honolulu, and I am in a bar in Chinatown with a book. I have no idea if I won this award or not. And it doesn't matter either way. I am raising a glass to each of you. Thank you, all of you, for coming back in person. Um, and congratulations to all of the nominees and the winners. Just a reminder, those of you who won awards tonight, please make your way with haste um, up here for group photographs. Um, the rest of you, enjoy the rest of your nights. And we'll see you a year from now for the Edgars 2023.